Welcome back everybody, I'm here with some more Digimon Rearise and today we're going to try to blind run the Underworld uh, Dungeon. Yeah, it's Underworld Dungeon. Uh, originally, I guess it was called origin, uh, Underworld Abyss, the Floors one. And this one's called Dungeon, the one that you could keep repeating. Um, these are the teams I use. Um, I sped up the footage. Originally I did it live, but the video became way too long. So, you know, I sped up the video and that's why I'm voice overing. Um, uh, one thing that I did learn about this is that you can make a... Uh, you could use the same Digimon twice. Not the exact same Digimon. Like, you need two copies of it. Which came in handy because I used two Magna Angelmons. Um, I used a purple team, the dev team. Uh, the bunnies are really good. They have really low cost. Uh, the goggle Digimons kind of go with any team, but this is, I feel like, this is the best energy. They have HP. Um, Omega Mon's a big hitter. This this Digimon gives it evasion and heals. So, uh, Agumon's really good. It clears DLT. And Vmon's the one that blocks statuses. I really like that they release these Digi Di uh, these Digimons because it it's it's specifically meant for this. Uh, this is the third team. I used a second Angelmon. I was hoarding Potomons and I ended up leveling it up and trying to test out to see if I could use two because you could compile three teams and you could use the same Digimon twice as long as they're not in the same team. So that's why I put Magna Angelmon because he's basically the best healer. In terms of the free-to-play ones or the ultimates and then I'm using a couple of Digimons that you got from SDQs or events so don't sleep on those always try to farm those Digimons because they're pretty good and this is where we go um, my dev team this one that's going in does horrible against DOT after playing this um, one thing to also too is that whatever your stats were, whatever the reload was for your Digimons, the next round it gets loaded too. I decided to go the harder route. I saw boss and I, you know, went straight for it. I kind of wanted to make it harder on myself, but right now, as you guys can, are about to see, my Gaiomon still has its um reload waiting. So you know that's unfortunate. That kind of hard. It makes um those Digimons that cut the waiting time. Seem a lot more appealing, but Leomon it can't survive so much. You do need you do need some kind of survivability. Um, these are the teams I use. I will later maybe I can post a video of what possible replacements they are. Uh, I just kind of wanted to do a blind run with the best that I felt like I had in the moment. Uh, it was pretty hard because you have to do the what is it called the cost. So that's where like some ultimates. Some are pretty good. Uh, Mamemon, yeah, Mamemon's pretty good. Uh, Magna Angelmon for a healer is a good replacement. Um, stuff. I'll do a video. I'll do a video that has all the like good free to play or good ultimates. But definitely, it's best to save. That's that's Magna Angelmon. That was like a boss over there. I was right here. I was debating which boss to go to. And yeah, this is where I made the mistake and I went to try to take the path that leads me to Alphamon and Skill Lock. That's another thing that also hurts the team. Um, there's not many Digimons that block Skill Lock. And right here is where I made my first mistake because I kind of went in not knowing. But whatever round you go to or whatever floor you go to, if it says that oh all, all allies are given error or something like that that means I didn't know like if it gave me a chance to give error because I didn't look into it I kind of blindly went in but this is where I would have gone with the brave team instead because those DLTs hurt like I you don't take that much damage against enemies on these floors and especially when you have a healer you know they heal it heals more than you take but DLT is it hurts uh, another way this team could potentially work is if you guys don't have Lilith Mon, Put something that blocks uh, DOT, you know, a Def Digimon or a Def Digimon thing. Yeah, it's something that has synergy. The best thing is that you want synergy with your weaker Digimons like the bunnies. The only reason the bunnies went down is because of those DOTs. Um, the Brave team would do a lot better once I get the stones for it and the, what is it called? 
I forgot the name of it. The personal plugins. And for my partner, I put Omega Mon. Uh, just, I didn't know what to expect, so I just left him as like, I don't like to change it. But honestly, if you guys have Omega Mon, yeah, he does a lot of damage. Um, in my Brave team, if you guys have Alpha Mon, I guess Alpha Mon could replace. I think Gallant Mon potentially could replace Omega Mon, but you know, Omega Mon's always best. Uh, so when you have this, make sure you have a team that blocks DOTs. Like, if you guys have that, I think, Agumon. Yeah, there you go. That Agumon takes away those DOTs. That's the best. Um, if you guys are building a team, add that Vmon if you guys don't have it. Minerva Mon. Yeah, Minerva Mon's pretty good because it takes away statuses. Uh, so you guys got to make sure your teams have that synergy. And the thing, this team, the last team doesn't have that much resistance the DOT is only for two Digimons and the statuses is for all so I was always scared to kind of go in with the third team for DOTs but that team if there's no DOTs it does pretty good uh, even skill lock it kind of does still do pretty good because uh, my Ophanimon clears the statuses so there's that so this team I wouldn't go in and fight a boss um, especially not when I don't have the Agumon plugins uh, that's I think one thing that also hurt this team, but I wouldn't I would use this team for all throughout except for boss battles Maybe do one team Specifically meant to like take down bosses like that death team I feel like that would do pretty good against a boss because just Lilith Mon just tanks so much it reduces the you know What is it called the HP you guys are gonna see right now where I made the mistake and Yeah, that special comes in clutch. So guys you guys got to make sure that all your po all your Pokemons, all your Digimons have uh, full friendship on, just so you can have higher increase of the special. I believe that increases how fast the bar sp incre increases, I guess. And yeah, and that evade for Rogomon came in clutch. If you guys have Magna Angelmon, I believe that one's pretty uh, pretty cool Digimon too. It's really good. It gives you that revive, so it potentially could work in this team. I haven't summoned for Magna Angelmon. It, it looks very appealing now, and it always was, except, you know, I really want a Gallant Mon, and I didn't want to not have Gallant Mon, but it, it's okay. If I don't get a Magna Angel Mon, not Magna Angel Mon, Magna Dramon, you know, the dragon that revives and heals everybody, that's what I'm talking about. And, yeah, later I'll do a video on all the ultimates, um, I guess replacements, too. But as you guys can see, skill lock is just annoying. So I, I would do one team, maybe this brave team that just blocks. Because the reason I go brave team is because you can have War, War Graumon and boost their HP of the two little guys. So you kind of block statuses. This is perfect against round teams, like, you know, like every, like waves of teams, like the floor that has like three, four. Teams of not against balls as you guys can see it went down and then I switched back to this one and the first thing I got to do is you know like heal because I'm down but this team does pretty good because Gaiomon like does triple damage when it crits I did give it crit um, on its plugins as you guys saw in the beginning of the video then Minerva Mon increases its own HP so if I if I had the bunnies like they'll they'll sponge up some of the damage it probably would have been easier Actually, going against Magna Angelmon, Magnamon right there. There's too many Digimons that have Magna, Magna in their name, so it gets me a little confused. But that uh, Magnamon up top, you know, the evolved form of Vmon, I feel like it would have been an easier route to go to if you guys were interested in doing something like that. Uh, like I said, I personally was trying to make it a little bit harder for myself just because I wanted to push these teams blindly going in. Like, I, I just compiled them like yesterday. And I was kind of hoping that it would do good. And towards later on, towards some of the floors, it gets really bad. Um, if you guys, I guess, get wiped out, I'm not sure what happens. I have not... I, I wasn't in that situation. Luckily, I passed it all with these teams. Um, this tank team does pretty good, especially against the waves. Like, it, it doesn't take that much damage. And when it starts to take damage, you know, you, you just have my healer heal them and that's it. And like I said, if you guys have a level 10, it's pretty good. This is where having dupes is not so bad of Digimon. Uh, for example, if you guys had an Omegamon, 
don't try to do dupes. Maybe like I don't know. That's so many resources wasted. So I wouldn't do it. Um, actually, with this team, because I don't know. I feel like the special was just reloading so fast. The team itself doesn't do damage, but it does a lot of hacks like sleep, lower defense, and it just load up Omega Mon so fast. I just felt so. That's kind of what helped the team that it tanks, it heals, and then my special just activates. So. That it's a, it's a good team. I would go with the tenacious devoted in these things over and over again. Um, I like the other teams too, but unfortunately, like I said, I made mistakes and took in my brave team. That was very unfortunate in my part. And yeah, right here, I just paused just to check. And yeah, your abilities reset. So I was just checking that everybody had had immunity to statuses. And I went in here because of the whole DOTs. I think it showed that it was. A DLT or I don't know what I went in here why I chose this team but that's the Kuya Mon man was scary cuz skill lock really hurts especially if they get your healer and as you guys can see like you guys can almost take any path like you guys are down there and you guys can go shoot back up there um, I don't think any other wave is hard just DLTs if you don't have a team that protects DLTs that I, I can't stress that enough your teams are just gonna fall down and like I said, um, you guys might want to focus one team to be the team to take down, um, what is it called, bosses. I, I'll do another run later on, maybe I'll do a different video, and I'll do this the other one live, you know, because I already kind of know what to expect, I'm just kind of going fast. And, what's his name, but my, what is it called, the devoted team? I think that one was pretty good. I'm not, I think it'll do pretty good against a boss because it heals. It's just skill lock. I think if I see skill lock, I'm just gonna like evade it, go around it if I can. I, against enemies, it's not so bad, but against like a boss battle, it, it is kind of hard because at least if by hits, if you kill the last enemy and you move to the next wave, it clears your thing. And like I said, Ophanimon takes away that. What's his name? It takes away the statuses, so. That's pretty good about that team. And you saw, even though the bunnies were out, you know, the bunnies don't even do that much damage. But, you know, this team has a really strong survivability, so it's kind of hard to say that which Digimons would you replace for that team. Only because, like, I feel like this was really strong. Minervamon felt really strong in this thing, you know? Um, also, Gaiomon. Gaiomon's pretty tanky, he's always been. Um, and the thing is that if you guys have Gaiomon, you guys can get the plugins. Another thing I might suggest is, as you saw there, I held on to the special for the next wave because it is a weak enemy. As, as you guys saw, Mon and Mon kind of did that skill lock thing to me. And now it just kind of lets me reload my abilities. I do have that heal on the ready. And it lets me load up special by doing single attack. And I just kind of killed it just because I wanted to get it over with. But as you guys saw, my Nerva Mon is loaded. My special was loaded and ready to kill the wave. That's what I kind of did for some of these. So hold on to that special if you know you're gonna kill it. Cause sometimes you kind of waste the special on like low HP. That's another of my suggestions. Again, skill lock. Skill lock is the most annoying thing, I hate it. But it, honestly, it's not too hard as of now. And probably will get harder later on when they add more stuff to this um, underworld thing. But for now, like, it's not so hard if you just have the right team setups. Uh, something that, like, negates DOTs with a healer. Um, a, you know, tank team. And that's pretty much it. Um, have a really strong hitter, I I would suggest. Um, I don't know what else I could put as a partner that would, like, just benefit everybody or any team. That's one of the things you can consider. But Omega Mon, I feel like it just does so much damage. It's good against bosses, you know, and it always like crits and it's special, so it helps take away a chunk of damage. Yeah. And then that's pretty much it, honestly. Um, there, I do want to talk about the rewards. Uh, each round kind of gives you rewards based on how many stars there are, but... You know, it's it, it's so like mediocre rewards. You know, it's not that much. But one of my clanmates, yeah, I just sacrificed that team at that point because it was DLT. 
I was kind of scared for DLTs in this team, but I realized my Tenacious Digimons aren't affected by DLTs because of Magnum Magnamon. And then my, what's his name, Devoted are so Ophanimon kind of came in clutch. And they didn't, honestly didn't take too much damage from DLT, so this seems pretty good. Oh, Armored Digival Digimons also have more cost than Ultimates, but way less cost than Mega, so they're pretty good for this. So that's something to look out for. Um, again, what I was talking about, the rewards, I heard that there are going to be better rewards, that there is chance to get uh, Rubies, and also there's going to be this item to limit break them past like 99. So it's going to be really relevant later maybe, but for now, I also heard that there's also plugins or ancient plugins that you can get from here for specific Digimons or something. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to see it in this blind run. I'll do it a couple times and see what I get, but you know, it to me it didn't feel worth it. Right now it didn't feel worth it. Um, don't feel like you rush to have to do the Underworld. Right now there's a Gallantmon event going on. I honestly would say do that first, you know, grind out as much as you can, get all the rewards, uh, the free Megas, all the Ultimates and the Rookie stuff, you know, the Agumon Stones are going to come out with its, with its uh, personal plugins, you know, those are must-gets. I feel like any Digimon, that, the SDQs, once those come out, all those Digimons are must-gets because they, they kind of help as soon as they come out, like... They're not so bad every time they've come out. The bunnies, when they came out, they were pretty good. Um, Machine Drummon was pretty good for a while in PvP. Uh, I was using a lot for the War Greymon. I thought he was pretty good. So they're, they're pretty good. I, I would suggest getting them. And these movie, like Digimon, are pretty good. I, I feel they released them literally specifically for this. Uh, outside of this, like they don't have much use. Not in PvP, not in story. You don't really need it. And not really in clash battles, but this this is where they shine the most because they got low cost. So, but they do need their plugins. Like the lot, if you guys have a lot mon and terrier mon, their personal plugins give them over a thousand. So that's why you really need them. But other than that, like I don't, again, if I were to do the scan, I feel like it'll be pretty easy. I already kind of know how how to go about it. I'll probably do another one. Not record it, just kind of do it by myself. See how I'll time myself to see how fast I can do it. But it honestly didn't feel worth it. I hate seeing Sekuyomon, I swear, in this thing. If you guys have Sekuyomon, maybe that won't be so bad. But you guys do want tanky Digimon because your health remains the same wave after wave, and you guys don't want to like, lose. That's why I think uh, Magna Angelmon, because of his low cost and how good he is, like. Definitely a good Digimon to have uh, one or two copies of, you know. Um, don't use stones. Like, this is a Digimon that you're pretty sure you could summon and get enough dupes for. Uh, as you guys can see, I have two level 10s. And I, I've i sold a lot of Potomon, so it's not so bad. Uh, you guys could also do that. Like, do a tank team and just base it on your special to do damage. I wouldn't, I'm not so sure about putting something that gives you one, like, targets only one Digimon. But, you know, this attacking two was pretty good. It did a lot of damage. Maybe All Force. All Force would be pretty good. I know it does a lot of damage as a uh, partner, but I'd prefer Omega Mon. If I have to choose, I'll put him first. I haven't tried, um, what's the name? Gallimon in, in this? You know, obviously, because this is the first time I try it. But maybe I'll try it, you know, the fact that it gets shield, I think that's pretty good. I hope that carries over, but it might not after the, it might carry wave after wave, but it might not carry after the floor. Because, you know, statuses don't carry over after the floor. Overall, this team doesn't do much damage, but it has very good synergy of tanking. It does very good at leveling up its um, special bar, so I liked it. And this is where I made the choice, like... In the end, you uh, you still get a choice to do which one you want to do in the end. I felt evade attack was too easy. I felt like DLT was not so bad. And I th honestly thought Ophanimon was going to be a lot harder because it was the boss, right? That's my logic. But honestly, when I went in, you know, I felt like, oh yeah, look, my team against Ophanimon, it felt like perfect, you know? But honestly, it was level 5. And Ophanimon level 5 doesn't really do much. It, it puts your Digimons to sleep. 
And that's it. But then, you know, you could clear it with your own Ophanimon. And honestly, look, I, I'm almost done killing it. And my Digimons aren't meant to be like powerhouses. But just because of this fight, I feel like I wouldn't have too much damage against any other regular boss. Like the stronger boss. So maybe this is not the best team for... What's his name? Against bosses. So try to designate one. My end of suggestion, tank team, a status team, and then just a team against boss maybe. Uh, so these were my things, my Digimon setups. Um, then you go back to zero. That's pretty much it. The rewards were all right. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.